Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron Overdrive. I'm going to show you what the Smartwood Model 1 is capable of. First off, the build. It's a simple yet elegant build. So you can put it basically anywhere without it standing out too much, but still catching the eye. Um, it has a replaceable logo. If you have a logo you want placed uh, on top of the door, all you have to do is drag it into place. It has a door system, so you can keep your enemies out and your friends coming in. A little doorbell. Okay, let's go inside. So, what's special about this? Well, it's not a standard apartment as some may think. It's a smart apartment. What's the difference? Mm. The difference is it does things for you, so you don't have to do it yourself. First off, uh, it's roomy. It has a nice cozy atmosphere to it. But what really sets it apart is the Simply Smart system. All you have to do is click it to bring up the menu. There's the Smart Theme system. You can add your own themes using these buttons. There's a privacy setting, a light setting, which I might actually use now since it's a little bit dark. There we go, much nicer. As you see, the light actually turns on. It's not just a texture effect. The lights and the lamps actually work. Fading up and down. Okay, it, you can list who's allowed to come in and you can set the access list yourself. If you're a renter, you can set it, no problem. You don't need admins to help you uh, lock the door or anything. If you're an owner, no problem, same deal. I made this so you can use it for rental and for standard um, apartments because uh, it does both, honestly. It's great at both. Okay, we have a help menu if you're stuck and an admin section if you use it to rent that. The admin section has an admin list and an admin reset which will reset the whole thing. Okay, let's look at what it's really capable of. The smart theme system. I basically made this so you don't have to do it. All you have to do is choose a preloaded theme. Aspen, Chinese, Cozy, Dark, Darkwood, Mechanical and Spanish are the current preloaded ones. Uh, you can add themes yourself, I will show that in a minute. Uh, the theme here is the dark wood. Let's choose um, uh, the Chinese theme. So what happens here is it sex sets the, te uh, the textures automatically. There we go, in a non-laggy way. There we go. Bamboo on the floor, Chinese walls, and a nice wooden ceiling. Okay. Basically, click, 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 and you're done. The rest will be handled by, by the apartment. There we go. Let's say that you've lived in this for quite a long time. You've had your fun, but it's not enough. Fair enough. All you need to do is click it and choose add theme. The updater will pop up and give you an instruction on how to add your own themes, create your own atmosphere. Basically, set up uh, themes that suits you, not just what I thought should be added. It's easy to use. Basically, you just have three textures, one for the wall, one for the ceiling, here, and one for the floor. You follow the instructions and add them to the button, you click it, and that's it. 
if you didn't right the smart theme will tell you and that's basically it you can select it from the user theme menu for those that like privacy which is basically all of us I think I have a I have added a privacy button you click it up, and a wall pops up I made this because while you can add friends to your access list you may not want them to barge in on you at any time the windows are one way constantly one way so you don't need to open and close them constantly another thing is if we just pan outside and let's say a friend opens the door well guess what <laughs> yeah please come again so that's basically the list of functions yeah I had fun making it, it took me a very very long time so it's worked right through in detail it's matched very closely in the seams as possible all the way around it's great for skybox, apartment, rental, whatever you feel like and it doesn't stand out too much I mean come on it looks great 